Now, the inauguration of Muriel Bowser as mayor means that Vincent Gray is once again a private citizen. But as ABC 7's Bruce DePoint reports, while his time at City Hall is over, it may not be the end of the former mayor's legal worries. Almost from the moment he took the oath of office in 2011, Vincent Gray's term as mayor was overshadowed by the federal probe of his 2010 campaign. U.S. Attorney for D.C. Ron Machen securing one guilty plea after another, six in all, from Gray Associates connected to what became known as the Shadow Campaign, an off-the-books effort to funnel hundreds of thousands of dollars to help unseat Adrian Fenton. To keep his support secret, Thompson requested that mayoral candidate A not refer to him by his real name, but to call him by a nickname, Uncle Earl. Despite his success in taking down Gray campaign aides, the prosecutor did not move to indict the mayor himself. Now that Gray is out of office, that might change. Based on the fact of the number of people who were so close to Vincent Gray, the number of people who have pled guilty to serious crimes, I think the answer is yes. I think he will be charged with the crime. Are y'all going to spend the entire no, this about this. No, no, no. While questions were a fixture of Gray's time in office, he always denied any involvement in the scandal, even though the shadow campaign and the real campaign had offices in the same building. It's just not true. It's just absolutely untrue, period. It's lies. A year ago, when federal prosecutors were zeroing in on Virginia Governor Bob McDonnell, the governor's attorneys convinced the feds to hold back on any indictment until he left office. D.C. residents we spoke with think the same thing could happen now with Gray. When he's, you know, out of office, he's, you know, he's just more of a regular citizen now. So I think they will. Because of the shadow over him, I voted for Miro Bowser. So uh, it'll be interesting to see what happens. I uh, won't be surprised, I guess, if the prosecutor moves forward. Prosecutor Ron Machen knows the public has been frustrated by how long all this has taken, but he insists external pressures will have no role in his final decision. A spokesman telling us the investigation is ongoing. In the district, Bruce DePoit, ABC 7 News.